Hello everybody, welcome, thanks for joining me. Oh, I've just got one thing I just wanted to do actually, quickly. Um, this is a kind of flandish that Lighting's not good, I'm sorry. But, um, yeah, well, it's, it's just a cylinder, isn't it, really? Um, so what I want to do is actually put a couple of lugs, one on this side and one on this side. So just join me here uh, at the banding wheel. And we will do that, we'll talk about it. So, yeah, always good to work from, from a banding wheel. Um, so, and I've, I've already rolled out here, you see, a couple of little round lugs. Well, they will be lugs. At the moment they're just frankfurters <laughs> so uh, I'll just bring the camera in a little bit I apologize for the light uh, I'm using a light somewhere else and it's I had to borrow it so right Should be a bit better, shouldn't it? Right, okay. Good, good. Uh -huh. So, um, yeah, just a small lug. It's going to come off the, the side of the rolled rim here. So, all we need is the lugs. One there and one directly opposite. So, just wet, wet the finger there and you can just score that a little bit like that, you see. Just use your finger, all right? Don't use any other tool. You really don't need other tools. Use your fingernails. That's why God gave you fingernails, so you could put on lugs. <laughs> All right, so. There it is. So, I'm now just. Pushing that into there like that. At the moment it does look a little bit higgledy-piggledy, I know, but they always do at this stage. All right, so. I'm just gonna just, see what I'm doing, just pull some of that clay across like that. See that hand underneath there, supporting the lug as I do that. Like that. Right. So now what I'm going to do is, you see the lug is there. Well, I want to make sure that the one I put on the other side is going to be like dead opposite that one. Right, a little bit of water. Dip your finger and then just use your nail like that. 
Just have these so they're just nicely leather hard. Don't let them get too hard. So you create the slip to stick one piece to another right there from the from the pot itself. You see. Just having a little look here at my my lug. Make sure it's fairly e even. We just want to roll these out, you know, on, on the on your workbench. Right, so there he is. So there's the central mark, so I want to make sure that that is in the center of that. So easy to put things on, you know, and then find it afterwards. Oh, if only I'd taken a little bit more care, you know, it sort of like skews your eyeball when you look at it because you think, oh. So there's that one. So same thing with that. Just just firm it firm it up to the, the lip as you see me doing. Alright, and then finger underneath like that. And then just do this. Pull the clay across. You see the wet clay from the handle. Just pull it across like that. What could be easier? Like that. Yeah. All right. So we're not done yet, are we? So what does that look like underneath? That's that's going to be that's going to be looking something like that. You see, at this stage. Right. So what we need to do now? Put it back on the banding wheel and um, get. Get your water handy here. So what we want to do is is, is is get some water onto it. And what I'm doing now is the equivalent of, you know, when you've like you've applied a handle to a pot and it's the handle is hanging there. After you've pulled it, you've applied it, and now you're pulling it afresh from the pot before you before you uh, attach. Okay, so I just that's what I'm doing at this stage, just making it nice and smooth, even looking. And now, see if I can do this in front of the camera. All right, so now just pay a little bit of attention just to the to the end here. I like to just round them off before I do the the finishing off because what I'm going to do now is use my my thumb and I'm I'm going to smear that away, you see, across here. So you could you're just going to have to practice this, all right? It, it, you'll get better at it as you do it. Like everything. So Like that, and hmm. like that. Again, just get this end a little bit tidy here. So, I've got to try and do this now. Uh, getting all fingers and thumbs about this, aren't I? Because uh, I can't even remember how I do this now. I think I do it more like that. So. Oops, sorry. Right, well, as as commonly is the case, <laughs> the first one you do your is your is your practice one, isn't it? Oh, Simon, does that mean that the next one's going to be a little better? <laughs> well, 
This is the only one actually, because this is just an odd thing I did at, a, at the weekend. It was a demo. I was just making a small flan dish for folks. Yeah, it's always, that's why it's so important to, when you make things, don't just make one or two, make 22. You'll, you'll learn so much more by making more in quantity. Okay, let's try and do this one again on this side. So, take that clay and push and smear. Don't hesitate, just like that. Just like that. You see? Again here, just sort of round it off, okay, prior to smoothing it away. Yeah, maybe we'll call it that, smoothing it away. And you want to get your, the right amount of moisture when you're doing this on your thumb. You don't want a dry thumb, and neither do you want a slippery thumb. You have, a, you have to discover that, by you learn that by doing it. You'll, you'll figure out how it works. So again, taking that and Pushing it away. So uh, it's, there you go. Looking something like that. You can dip your finger in the water pot and just, just if you need to, just do what I'm doing there. Don't, don't take a sponge and start rubbing and smearing. All right, that does not and will not look good. Dee, 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 dee. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know what I need to do is, I actually need to do a few more of these to get back into the way of, of, uh, of doing them, you know? That's the thing about you know production pottery, you 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 discover the flow, you get into the flow, you know. So what I'm going to do now is I don't think now this this part, all right, has not been trimmed at all. It's just as I took it off the wheel and we turned it upside down. Um, and this is a, a good example of, you know, how unnecessary it is to trim pots because you see that bevel that we've got along the edge there. All I have to do, just take a, a, a moist thumb and just go round there like that, you see, with your thumb. Fettle it off. Okay. Now, as often is the case, sometimes with a slightly wider base like that, you'll find as it dries, the base, it, it arches up. So what I do is just push, push the base back down if it's if it's doing that. You see? Just to get it flat. Flat across there. Um, so that's that. A couple of other things I wanted to do to this quickly. And is a little uh, a little impressing wheel that I made. You can make these easily yourself out of soft clay and then uh, let them dry, bisque fire them. This one has got a little bit of clay stuck in it. I was demonstrating this at the weekend and the clay that we were pressing the wheel into was a bit soft and um, 
if you if it, if you do that at, just at the wrong time, the soft clay, if it's too soft, will uh, get stuck in the in the impressions. So I'm just cleaning that out. Dee, 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 dee. Yeah. Yeah, you can make these little guys. Yeah, we made them on a the workshop actually. We made a few. It's just something that you can make yourself. Because you know, if you buy a ready-made impressing wheel from some supplier somewhere. Well, well everybody else is going to have the same wheel, aren't they? So if you make your own, no one's going to have the same one. And you can use it over and over and over again. You see, just rolling, impressing into the clay. So what I wanted to do, but I know that it's going to be too soft to do it, so I'm running a bit of a risk, but I want to actually put an impression here. So what I'm going to do is break a few rules. I would never do this. <laughs> I'm only doing it for you. <laughs> because what I want to do is I just want to dry this off a little bit. So I don't get that clay sticking in the wheel, you know? Because I know it will do if I don't do this, but... So ideally, you want to let this just set up now um, and then come back to it with the, with your impressing wheel. Leave it an hour or so and then come back to it. But I haven't got an hour to hang around so I might make a mess of this but Dee -dee -dee. Yeah, I was doing a demonstration with uh, a grandson of Hamada in Philadelphia. We were doing a sort of family family reunion get together leech Hamada thing, <laughs> and I I brought out my torch and started doing something, and via Hamada's Hamada Tom, Tomu's Hamada's translator, he said. Uh, we don't do that in Japan. <laughs> I thought I said, "Oh, don't you?" <laughs> well, no, I can see they probably wouldn't. But well, you break a few rules once in a while. Why not? Take a risk. Can't go through life not taking any risks. Okay. Let's see. After you've heated it a bit like that, you just want to let it steam off a bit, you know, just let the... See if I can... Give you a bit of detail. I hope I can do this. Well, if I make a mess of it, I make a mess of it. But you'll know why if I do. Dee, 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 dee. So, better make sure in the picture we're still there because I, I zoomed it in a bit, didn't I? Let's come back a touch. Right. So... Yeah. So again, when you do this, you want to put a finger or something just like that, you see? Otherwise, when I press this in, all I'm going to do is run it across the top there like that. Very simple. All right. Let's do it. 
two one. Yay, that worked. <laughs> Three cheers. Hip hip. I don't know if you can see that. I never know when I'm showing whether whether it's in focus or not, but okay, so you see there how that has how that's turned out. Let's let's do let's do the other one. Let's bring that back in again. So finger to support, take the wheel. When you start the roll, be decisive about it. Don't be hesitant. Yeah. Yeah, we did it. We did it. So, I think it adds a nice little uh, a, a nice little touch, what do you think? So, yeah, have a go at making these. It's basically just a cylinder, isn't it? A wide-based cylinder. These are thrown uh, out of two pounds of clay. Hang on a minute, I've got it written down here. Um, two pounds of clay, they are, well you can read it, eight and a half wide, thrown eight and a half wide, two and a quarter high with a rolled rim and lugs. So have a go at doing one of them. Remember the points we spoke about, make sure you put a nice undercut. Uh, as you can see I've got a People say, oh, I see you've got a wiggle wire. No, it's not a wiggle wire. It's just a twisted wire. <laughs> it's not a wiggle wire. You, you need, actually, it's best to cut your pots off using a twisted wire because it, it makes them a lot easier to lift off the wheel, you see? Because it, it introduces air in underneath the, underneath the, the pot. So, yeah. Uh, get... Practice, practice doing the the uh, what do they call it? Smearing away. Practice doing that. Uh, sometimes it works better than other times. You know whether you can manage to do it nice and cleanly. You see, sometimes it's cleaner than other times. Okay, that's it. Thanks for joining us, folks. Uh, I hope that's been of some help to you. Uh, sorry, it's just one one that I'm doing. And um, yeah, next not next weekend, but the weekend after, I'm down in um, Roanoke, Roanoke, Virginia, doing a workshop down there. That's my last workshop this year, I think. And then we're working downstairs. I'm trying to get a little gallery showroom area sorted here downstairs for the you know general public because we've got the signs going up well we've got one sign up now and we've got the other sign the other road sign that you saw in the last video has got to go up down down on the road that should go up probably be up in a week or so so i've got to look into some track lighting and uh, maybe we'll take the camera down into the into that space and I can show you you know how things are developing okay folks thanks for joining us please visit my website simonleachpottery.com and um, as always keep practicing I'll see you soon bye bye <laughs> Do, 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 do.